has been said that schizophrenia is the cancer of mental illness. Although a complete picture of what causes schizophrenia remains a puzzle, it is certainly one of the most profound illnesses treated by mental health professionals. As we enter the 21st century, there are twice as many mentally ill people living on the streets than in all of our state psychiatric wards. Many go untreated. One such person was David Taggart. Living on the streets and in shelters of New York City, David was diagnosed as having a paranoid schizophrenic disorder. Attempting to secure newspapers. My income doesn't permit me to buy them. Considering the severity of his illness, he surprisingly agreed to have a camera crew follow him on his morning rounds at New York City's Pennsylvania Railroad Station. Continue to talk. This is not a photo op. Dave's habits. You got guys with long lenses and parabolic mics for that. Okay. Well, I, no comment. <laughs> Part of David's condition was his deep mistrust and rejection of any consistent help and medication from outreach programs. The program is saying in a de facto manner that I have to that I have to, uh, to be on medication to get housing. I repeat, there's no real justification. David, let me ask, the FBI, all of this intense surveillance, could this be part of an illness that you have? Nice try. If, w when you, uh, when you say, well, maybe it's, it was, it's just something I'm thinking of and product of my situation. But when it happens 120, 150 times, I mean, let's take an example. Uh, someone might be reading a book and leave it as, on a telephone booth as he's making a call. Someone might be doing, some might do that. And sometimes that book might be a really attractive book or an expensive book or, or somebody else might have liked that book and that book might not be there when you turn back, say, 30 seconds later. Okay? And when that happens 30 or 40 times, when sometimes those books are obviously of no conceivable cash value to anybody, when sometimes the books contain your, contain your identification documents and your money, which nobody but someone maintaining close surveillance on you could have discovered. See, see, when determining whether something is real or something is not real, it's real simple. Get the facts. Having adamantly refused medication, David's condition worsened, and he became acutely suicidal. Several weeks after the taping of this segment, a body was pulled from the East River. It was David Taggart. In the 